everyone. My name is Lindsay and I work at Science World. What I wanted to talk to you about today is inertia. So I've got some fun activities that you can try at home to test the properties of inertia. So when we're talking about inertia, we can talk about Newton's first law of motion. Really, what Newton was saying was that when objects are at rest, when they're not moving, they like to stay at rest, unless there's a force that's acting against them. That's something that's either a push or a pull. When things are in motion, they like to stay in motion, again, unless there's a push or a pull acting against them. So you can try the coin on the elbow trick at home, but there's some other fun things you can do with it as well. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a, cup, a card on top of my cup of water here, and I'm gonna take that coin and put it on top of my card. Now, right now, everything's at rest. Nothing's really moving. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply a force to this card. I'm gonna flick it out from underneath that coin. Because the coin is currently at rest in that one spot, it doesn't really wanna get moving. So hopefully, it'll drop down into the cup. All right, line it up, and there we go. Coin inside the cup. Now, I can use this cup for another cool demo too. So again, I have my cup of water here. It has a lot of inertia. It wants to stay still unless there's a force acting against it. Now, I have a paper towel underneath here. You can use a smooth cloth, uh, anything you can quickly pull out from under your cup. If I pull it slowly, you'll notice my whole cup of water moves. And that's because there is a force acting against it, friction. But if I'm moving it quick enough, then I can pull out the paper towel from underneath my cups, hopefully without any spill. So here we go. And there you have it, no water spill. Now, if we were doing this at Science World, we'd do things a little bit differently. So I'm gonna show you what we would do on the stage here. bigger here at Science World. What I have beside me is a pretty large tower. What I did was I filled all of these cups with some water and then stacked my tower pretty darn tall. Now, the more weight that's in here, it's gonna help me out. More mass, it's gonna have more inertia. It's gonna be harder to move. But if you notice when I pull my tablecloth a little bit, the whole tower moves slightly. That's because friction's acting against it. So as I'm pulling that tablecloth away, friction is pulling my whole tower towards me. However, if I do it quickly enough, hopefully the whole tower will stay standing still while my tablecloth quickly comes underneath it. There's not enough force acting against it. Now that's only if I do it just right. And in all honesty, it's been a while. So let's see how it goes. Three, two, one. Whew. And the tower stays standing. Thanks, Inertia. 